ਕਰਤ ਸਈਅਤੇ ਬੁਲਦੇ ਆਦਮ Assalamu alaikum peace be upon you and welcome back to the MTA USA studio where we are broadcasting live from the second day of the 68th annual Jalsa Salana USA right here from Harrisburg Pennsylvania well we are joined in the studio with uh, Mr Fazal Ahmed Sahib and we are going to be talking about the institution of Jamia and what it takes to get in there and we will also speak with two students who have been recently admitted to Jamia as well. So Fazal Sahib, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and thank you very much for having us here. Oh, it's our pleasure. So tell us for the viewers, uh, what does it take to get into Jamia? The basic requirement as far as the studies are concerned, one has to do have a graduation from high school. Okay. And uh, it's up to the age of 22 if who wants that. But the boys who are graduating from school, they apply for Jamia if they are waqfe now they apply through the department otherwise they generally apply from the president and amir sahab and then there is a process of interviews which these boys are going through now what what's interesting is when you mentioned the getting the approval of president and amir it reminds me of the military academy west point where you need the approval of your local your state senator or your your congress senator uh, to get in because it's that uh high of a, an honor to get in uh, and to serve uh, through that and you very really right to uh it's very structured and we have to follow the hierarchy mm -hmm. of the jamaat and if the local president says yes he knows exactly what he's talking about and then he recommends that and then the topic and subject is taken by the jamia excellent so uh who who would, who joins us today in studio we have the these are two brothers twin brothers Maher and Daniel. Uh-huh. And uh Maher and Daniel, assalamu alaikum. Well, Thanks for joining us. Uh you had your test yesterday on site here at Jalsa yeah, Salan USA. So what happened there, uh, Daniel? Well, uh we walked in uh, the six of us, six applicants, and we were handed a written test out of 100. Uh there's various topics, attributes of Allah, hadith, prayers, translation, Quran, and and we it, I believe it was 90 90 minute written test. we we took it and it in and now we're is it a multiple choice short answer a little bit of both no no multiple choice oh yeah. short answers uh -huh. so my hair how how did that go what what was going through your head as you took it i mean in the beginning it was like you know i'm taking the test i'm scared you know but it was it's not that difficult at all it's very simple i thought it was going to be you know about a but the three hour exam with all these surahs and all this uh, hadith and prayers but they're very simple they go easy on us and uh, alhamdulillah it went well. Now what do you have lined up today? An interview process? Yeah, we have an interview with uh Hadi Saab the principal, Jamie Saab one of the teachers and uh several other missionaries and Hafiz Sami Saab I believe. And what goes what happens during these interviews? Basically the, uh the people who are coming from the Jamia they ask the theoretical side the subject which they will be dealing in depending on their responses what they did yesterday uh, for the tests. Uh-huh. uh they will they were asked uh, some a month back that they should memorize qasida and i believe that 16 verses they have memorized Fantastic. which they will listen uh, in the first two years is basically a religious knowledge book mm -hmm. one has to know it very well that's right that's it now for the for the viewers who would like to get into jamia what should they start doing now to get ready for the test and for the interview they have to focus very much to study Masih mm -hmm. Maut's book, uh, the life of uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the book of on Ahmadiyat, and focus on learning the verses of the Quran, ahadith. So it is all in the religious knowledge book, mm -hmm. and that becomes a textbook. Though they are being taught Arabic as a language, in the first two years are crucial as like the colleges, mm -hmm. and if they surpass that, then they gain the insight of. Now there are alhamdulillah many jamias around the world. Uh is America tied to Canada or is there ability to go to London or Ghana or Pakistan? Okay, that's a good question. Basically the Canadian the jamia which is in Canada is called North American okay. Jamia. And we are the two neighboring annex countries. Mm -hmm. So 
that institution which is in Canada suffices to fulfill the requirements at this very moment. Similarly, Germany has it and London has it. London is blessed because Fuzu's presence is there. It's totally different. And they are there for seven years. Mm -hmm. And then once they complete that, I call it that sort of a residency. They go to Huzur, they serve there, and then they are sent to Rabwa or Kadian, wherever Huzur deemed necessary, and then Huzur deputes them wherever it is required. Oh, yes. And this, this time, Alhamdulillah, we have six American boys who are going to Jami, inshallah. Ta'ala. That's a large In, class. A large class, six topmost. Mashallah. Now, um, Daniel, what was it? You know, you guys are you guys are New Yorkers, right? So you know, tough, bad Americans, right? What was it? What what made you decide to attend Jamia? Well, you you can see around the world, especially in in the media, there's a twisted view of Islam, and it, it, it sometimes when you view it, it hurts you. You see how how twisted it's become. People believe in Islam is, is just violence, but Islam literally means peace, and I want to spread that message. And Mahir, how about you? I mean, since you said about New York, growing up in New York, you see like the most evils around the world. And when I see other missionaries and I see Jami Ahmadiyya Khan, I see this peace and I see this glow and it attracted me so much that I wish to attend there. Awesome. And now as you guys are from Queens, uh, yesterday Hazur gave the Janaza Dab of uh, our dear late president, Nazir Asab. What role did Nazir Asab have in shaping uh, your youth? Well, I remember Nazir Yasa was there for most of my childhood. He was there uh, for every Tahrir class. He was, he, was, he was at the staircase. He said, hi, hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. And, and he walked in every day, to, every Saturday, to see how we were doing, see if we needed anything, to see, to see if we felt good, if you needed medicine, if you needed advice, if you needed help, anything. In Mahir, how about you? I mean, Yasa was one of the biggest uh, influences. And the thing is, he did so much work. He was always in the back that you never really, and I never really understood, like, how much he did for us until his until he passed away, because because of him I was able to have work for no class and tire class, and even before he passed away he told me after you know the interview he was going to take us to go get you know lunch. Yeah. So they also played a huge role in my life, and as well as my brother and another applicant from Queens, and you know, it was he was big for us here. Yeah. Now, Fazl Saab, you've served in, in serving the Waqf no of this country for many years now, and you've seen America in its shifting, in its shifting phase. The Waqf no are now adults, and we have many more Waqf no who are younger. How are we working with that diversity? When we started some 20 years back here, in, uh, it, I was inducted in the uh, team. Uh, Hafiz Amillah Saab uh, being the National Secretary, I'm assisting them. So it was a two-man stream and it started. And those, that time, the children were eight, nine years of age. Now they are 29 years of yes. age. It's a, it, it started in 87 April. So we have come a long way. We have understood the shortfalls. Uh, we are more focused towards organizing their classes now in a formal way, we do have radio program classes on a weekly basis, which is focused to the syllabus. What makes uh, Wakfen or different is, as far as the studies patterns are concerned, it's a higher requirement than Atfal. Now, Alhamdulillah, Huzur has said that it should be merged so that everybody, the Atfal syllabus and the... Because there are those who are not Wakfeno who see what's going on in Wakfeno and say, why didn't you make me walk for all? That's so true. this is an opportunity for I them. was asking these boys that uh, when they when they realize that they are going for walk for now and they are a walk for now and parents have already decided mm -hmm. so they were somebody some some of them felt special some of them felt that oh this was not us but now these boys and everybody I have met in the last 20 years, they have said that we were the chosen one to spread the message of Islam. So it, we have come up to a level now where we are very focused. We have different groups of Waqfad and Waqfenao boys. We have focused to induct them, those who are 18 plus and they are studying um, other studies so that to serve Jamaat right from the day one after the high school. And the, um, the teenage uh, Wakfino, they will 
send a letter to Azur, say this is what I'm interested in, and Azur can guide them on their career and so That's, they can serve the Jamaat? Yeah, uh, Huzur asks them, and I, we normally really tell them that they should watch each and every Wakfana program where Huzur is sitting. Yes. Because it's a directive which is not limited to London right. or Germany, it is for all. And there Huzur has said that when, whenever the child asks what should we do, Huzur asks them either spontaneously he responds, responds otherwise he says, write me a letter or meet me. And then if they're not going to Jamia, then what their studies is, and in that line, Huzur mentions. Jazakal Fazal Sahib, Jazakal Daniel and Maher for coming here and talking about your experiences. Uh, this is a fantastic initiative for all who are interested. Uh, you can contact Fazal Sahib and Hafiz Samiullah for more information. And please pray for the six applicants who will inshallah go to Jamia here from America. And may they continue to serve the Jamaat in the best capacity, inshallah. Jazakallah. Sending you out back to programming. This is Salam Bhatti from Jalsa Studio. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. But uh...